Welcome to Famous Fortunes. I hope you are well. Today we're going to do a thorough investigation into what what I believe is resurfacing. There's a rumor going around Prince William and uh, a lady by the name of Rose Hanbury. Apparently they've had an affair, so it seems. There's been, you know, smatterings uh, in the media and online about this for, for a couple of years now. We haven't really looked into it on Famous Fortunes. And we're going to look into this today. Who started the rumors? Why are they resurfacing now? Why are they resurfacing now? And of course, is it uh, is there any truth to the rumors? Is there any truth to the rumors or is this a big load of BS? So that's what we're going to look at today. If you have a question for a future video, let it be known in the comments. If you would like to support the channel, go ahead and join Team Famous Fortunes. Let's have a look. I just want to have a quick squizzy as to why these rumors are being... Uh, they're, they're coming up now. What, what's it to do with right now that's important? Let's have a look. Why are we hearing about this now as opposed to, you know, next month, next year, you know, 10 years down the track? Why right now? And then we're going to look at who's uh, who put these rumors out there. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so if you... If you like this sort of content, if you enjoy being a nosy Parker, then of course, let it be known in the comments. This is probably the channel for you. If you don't enjoy being a nosy Parker, then perhaps you may enjoy the channel anyway. But in any event, I'll leave that decision to you. That very important decision is yours to make and yours alone. So choose your destiny wisely. In any event, let's find out, why is this resurfacing now? I'm having a look, it seems to be blowing up online again, again. So of course we're going to cover it, because it's some fairly juicy goss. Cards are hot. The Ten of Wands, Two of Swords, Ace of Swords, Queen of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, underlying energy here. The Six of Wands. So why is this coming up now? Well, I have to tell you, it seems like there is a woman behind this. Now, I did read that there was a journalist, you know, I use the term. Uh, let me read to you the uh, the article that I have online here. There. Now, I use the term jo journalist or liberally, or at least I reference the term journalist liberally in this article. So, years later, the, the rumors are once again resurfacing on Twitter thanks to a journalist, and that's the term I use very liberally and loosely today, or reference it at least, Alex, here we go, Alex Tiffin, who brought them up while replying to a t tweet about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Isn't that odd? Why would Prince Harry and Meghan Markle be connected to this? That's interesting. Hmm. Uh, in any event, he, and, and this Alex Tiffin goes on to uh, make some fairly uh, bold claims. Fairly bold claims. So let that be known. Of course, saying, of course, that, you know, he he is... Uh, he's absolutely convinced, uh, I'm paraphrasing here, that um, the fact of the matter is Prince William had an, had an affair with Rose Hanbury. So that's, that's what this uh, individual has claimed on Twitter. Now... Is Alex Tiffin a female? Because what I see before me is that there is a female on the cards. There's a female on the cards. Now, is Alex the name of a female? No, perhaps disposition only. But in any event, in any event, it looks like this may be coming from, there's a woman here, there's a woman who wants to, let's say, control the narrative, there's a certain element of um, overcoming, overpowering, winning, that type of thing. There's, there's, a, there's a female here, if you look here, the female card, this Queen of Swords is staring down this family unit here with the Ten of Pentacles, staring it down with her sword, love to get in there, I'm sure, and just you know, swing the sword around, do some damage, perhaps. That's what I'm seeing on the cards. This Queen of Swords is facing this family, this this uh, this family unit. So that's what I'm seeing. Now, that's what I'm seeing here. Really, that's the essence of it. We can we can debate and we can 
philosophizes to the meanings of these two of swords and the ten of wands. I, you know, as to perhaps the veracity of the uh, the situation. Perhaps this person is very blind to what they're actually saying. They don't know, uh, but it seems that the claims they're making are very. Uh, I'd say very challenging claims. There's a, this is a very... I don't think this is as clear-cut as is being claimed. That's all. That's all. Journalist. Journalist. Journalist Alex Tiffin. Journalist. Journalist. Who do we have here? I'm trying to find this particular individual... Hard to say. In any event, in any event, there's a woman behind this. Alex, if that's you, then so be it. But let's ask now, how did this particular rumor start? Who is behind putting this rumor out? Who's responsible for this? Let's ask the question. Cards are hot. Let's have a look. The Magician. Okay, so that's... We're talking about the origins of this. The Magician is a very telling card. We'll talk about that in a moment. Queen of Swords again. Oh, there's another woman coming up here. So, the Queen of Swords is, you know, according to the tarot, behind the resurfacing now and also behind the origin of this story. That's interesting. Six of Cups. So that's come out reversed. Interesting. Six of Cups and the chariot, and the ten of cups. So there's this idea of attack on a family coming in very strongly. Page of Pentacles is the underlying energy. So I can tell you as a, as a reader that th there, is, there is a woman behind this. It's one woman. She is out to attack the family. It's coming through very strongly. The chariot, queen of swords, and again, the ten of cups now. So we're attacking a family unit here. It's an attack... This isn't, let's be very clear, in tarot terms, okay, in tarot terms, this is not an attack on Prince William. This is an attack on Prince William's family. It's a difference, okay? There is a difference. So that's the intended target for this. It's trying to destroy and undermine, well, I'm going to say attack because we have the chariot. It's the warrior card. There's a queen of swords and she's not, you know, she's not using that sword to let's say, you know, cook with. She's not slicing tomatoes with it. She's not, you know, preparing a lovely meal for everybody. That sword is a weapon. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's just be very clear. And when you see the chariot, it confirms that. Directed at the family energy here, it's very clear what's happening. Okay. The magician is also, uh, let's say, concerning because it, it means that this situation is being created by this particular woman. Who is this woman? That's the question. Who is this woman? We've asked the question, who's responsible for this? We've got co absolute concrete confirmation of a Queen of Swords archetype is behind this. So there's no doubt about it that we know, we know, we know that it's a Queen of Swords, let's say. Let's say that. Let's say. I rest my case as to who it may be. There's no much, there isn't much more evidence I can present as to the uh, let's say, is to the to the name uh, of the uh, perpetrator, let's say, is to the to the whereabouts of the perpetrator, but the Queen of Swords is an apt description, so say the tarot. What else can I tell you from this spread? Not a lot. Not a lot. A created event. It's very clear. Now let's ask the question. Let's ask the question. I've already, you know, you, we've already seen the answer. It's been, it's, it's been manufactured. It's been created with the magician card, but let's ask, is there any truth to this particular story? Let's ask, what is the truth of the story? Let's ask, what is the truth of this particular story? What is the truth? Cards are hot. 
Four of Swords, Nine of Cups, the Devil, the Star, and the World. Underlying Energy, the Ten of Swords. Now, the Devil card's very interesting. Dare I say, dare I say, dare I say, a whole new year of Devil Swear Jar activity just commenced. Dare I say it. And because we don't have a Devil Swear Jar, I'm just going to leave this token. I'll leave this token next to one of our dragons for safekeeping, just for the moment. Just for the moment. Just until we organize, let's say, just until we organize a Devil Swear Jar for 2022. Because the other one is, as many people have rightly said, quite out of action. Quite out of action. We really did a number on that Devil Swear Jar, I can tell you. So in any event... Uh, in any event, we do have the Devil card. So what's the truth of this? This, to me, looks like there's some serious lying and manipulation involved here. That's what I'm seeing on the cards. And it's it's a big lie. It's a big lie told to the world. The Devil's made this very clear that this is manipulation and this is, this is none other than, let's say, character assassination with the Ten of Swords. This is character assassination. Did it? You know, as soon as I saw the Four of Swords, I don't think anything happened. There's no truth to this. There's no. There's no truth to this whatsoever. And the devil's really confirming that this is a big load of BS. That's what I'm seeing. It's a big load of BS. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. A new year of uh, Devil Swear Jar donations awaits. I was wondering how long it was going to take. Not long, apparently. Not long. So, let's just a quick recap. Three readings today. Two Queens of Swords. Two Queens of Swords. Two Queen of Swords. And one Devil card. So, make of that what you will. And calm down you at the back of the class. Settle down at the back of the class. Stop sniggering, please. Alright, pay attention. All right, we do enough sniggering at the devil card. Yes, yes, we all, I'm sure, have our suspicions, of course, on who this may be. But they're only suspicions, they're only suspicions. And uh, at this point, uh, at this point, it's just a tarot card at the end of the day. It's just, a, it's just a tarot card. They're just humble cards at the end of the day. All they are is a bit of ink on a bit of cardboard. That's all it is, folks. It's just a game of chance, isn't it? It's just a game of chance. It's just a game of chance. So we will know by the end of this year how many times the devil has come up from start to finish of the year. And there will be no, uh, let's say, ambiguity as to the exact number of devil apparitions, let's say, for 2022. We will know. We will know. So in any event, the devil is on the cards. What more can I say as to this... Uh, what, let's ask the question as a bonus question. What does the Duchess of Cambridge think about these rumours? What does How does she really feel here? Because I feel that she's the one that's really having to... And William as well. He's bearing the brunt of this, uh, let's say, rumour on his reputation. But it's, it's, it's also, you know, di it's directed at his family. It's directed there. So let's ask the question. Let's do a fork spread. On the left, we'll have Prince William. On the right, we'll have the Duchess of Cambridge. How are they feeling about this rumour? How are they feeling? Cards are hot. Let's have a look at our fork spread. King of Swords was our first uh, fork here. Let's have a look. Our first line, Two of Wands. This is Prince William. Page of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. Underlying energy is the Ace of Cups. And for the Duchess of Cambridge, Four of Cups. Strength and judgment. So, I think 
what I'm seeing here is that Catherine's very, uh, she's, she's very, I think, disappointed at what she's seeing. And she's being, she's being quite strong here. She's having to be quite strong to, uh, let's see sort of what's going on, but she's definitely, she has, I think she's trying here or she's tried or she's attempted to, um, She's definitely decided in her mind that, uh, you know, how she's going to be towards these rumors. Uh, at least I think she's going to put them out of her mind, that type of thing, that type of decision. And she's she's really decided, I'm going to put this out of my mind. It's just a load of rubbish. So there's the judgment card right there. Uh, it's it's She's trying to just not think about it, basically. It's like, I've dealt with it. This is what I think. Let's move on. So that's what I'm seeing. Being very strong, very disappointed, obviously, this crap's... Uh, going around. In any event, two of wands and a page of wands for Prince William. And the five of coins. He's He definitely is aware of it. That's no, There's no doubt about that. He's aware of what's being said. He's You could even say he's monitoring, uh, let's say, what's happening. But you know, I want to just talk about this King of Swords for a moment before we really dive into Prince William. The King of Swords here means that, no, it's not the King of Swords. Well, I hope not at least, but in any event, it means that there's a certain de degree of them fighting back. I don't know how that's going to play out, but there's a, there's a will here to fight back and to conquer these allegations. That's what I'm seeing. Uh, King of Swords suggests it's probably more so Prince William... But uh, but that said, it, it is the beginning of the fork, so it is applicable to both Prince William and Catherine. So they, I have to say, they want to fight back together. Okay, so let that be known. Bit of an intricate, nuanced reading of the position of the King of Swords, but so be it. Uh, but they're going to fight back here. That's, that's something we need to say, given the card we're seeing. He's definitely monitoring it. I think he's having conversations about this, let's say conversations he's having discussions about this uh, I don't think he's very I'm getting the feeling here from this five of pentacles that he's a little bit say sick to his stomach that type of thing over these particular rumors I don't think he's handling them particularly well and I'm not sure I would either I'm not sure I would either if anyone's ever made up total bs about you and you've had to wear that publicly then you know exactly what I'm talking about. So that's, of course, what Prince William's dealing with at the moment. Let's ask, how does Rose Hanbury... This is a double bonus question today. How does Rose Hanbury feel about these rumours? How does she feel about them? Let's find out. How does Rose Hanbury feel about these rumours? Cards are hot. All right, let's have a look. We have the Five of Swords. Yeah. Eight of Wands. Three, oh, three of Swords. Yeah, not good. Eight of Cups and the Page of Cups. Underlying Energy, the Hierophant. You know, it is interesting that there seems to be a certain degree of uh, concern for the royal family, I think, here, or the... Concerned for the notion of royalty, I'm not sure if she is royalty or some degree of it, but in any event, there's some concern here for the institution. There's also a lot of heart heartache that's going into this. I don't think she's particularly, she's not happy with what she's seeing. There's, there's a certain, she feels defeated and she must feel defeated because if it is indeed uh, not factual, then she must feel that, you know, there's been this whole apparatus that has a, uh, won a victory over her by even allowing these rumors to persist. So in any event, that's what, that's what I'm seeing. I'm also seeing heartache and, and that type of thing here with, you know, with what's happening, uh, with these rumors. So there's, there's that, I think she's very, she's trying to distance herself from them as much as possible here with the eight of cups. And she's trying to move away from it, of course. So there's a lot of moving away from these rumors and, uh, moving away from these headlines, let's say, trying to just remove herself from this, uh, 
what's the word, debacle, I'm not sure if that's the right word, but you get the drift of what I'm saying in any event. Page of Cups. The Page of Cups. I see this as her trying to be a good sport about it as best she can. I, I don't think this is an easy topic for anyone to deal with. It has to be the recipient of such, uh, of such things, but so be it. What do you think, Team Famous Fortunes? Let it be known in the comments what your thoughts are. Let it be known. And if you have a question, of course, for a future video, of course, let it be known. If you have any questions on this particular topic, you want to see more of this topic, then, of course, let it be known, and I will see you in the comment section.